I always used to find that I had no idea where things were when I started to stream. I would change to the wrong C, I would have the wrong audio playing, I even would set off random alerts and sounds when I wasn't meant to. I was so keen to be a good streamer. But how I organised my scenes and sources within OBS was letting me down. So I decided to get organised. In this video, I would like to turn our attention to our streaming software. And I'm going to share with you some tips about how to keep your sources and scenes organised so they can help your stream go more smoothly. If you found this or any of the content on my channel supportive, then please consider liking, commenting and subscribing. And if you would like to show your support by donating, you can do via the super thanks button. And if you stay tuned right to the end of the video, I'm going to share with you a, a really neat little trick for keeping all your sound sources organized in your audio mixer. Okay then, let's get on with it. Okay, number one, name your scenes and sources in a meaningful way. If you were ever like me, I used to have many of my scenes and sources just using the default words that OBS gave it. Now, what I suggest you do is take the time when you're setting things up to name each of your scenes and sources in such a way that you know what it relates to. In this way, when you're choosing a scene or looking for a source, you'll be able to find it very easily. Okay, number two, use folders to group similar sources together. So one of the wonderful things that you can do with OBS is assign sources to folders. Now this allows you to group sources together into one folder and then you can name that folder. So let me give you uh, an example. On my chat scene, there is an area for my main camera view and then there's a smaller box off to one side that the game plays in. Now what I've done is created a folder called game scenes and then I've dragged all the sources for all the games into that folder. You can then collapse that folder so it takes up a minimum amount of room on your software. Okay, number three use scenes as sources. If you have a range of sources that are appearing in a scene over and over and over again in all different scenes, then what I suggest you do is create a scene with all those sources in and then import that, with that scene into your source window. Let me give you an example. So for my webcam view, I have the following sources. I have the webcam itself. I have the frame around the outside. I have a counter that I might use for a death counter or something like that. I have my glass where all the bitties drop into. Now what I've done is that I've put all of these sources into a scene called webcam 4.4 colon three, that's the size of it. And then what I do is just import that whole scene into any other scene that I need my webcam on. Now, the advantage of doing this, as well as taking up less room in your source window, means that if you want to change anything about your webcam, you only do change it in one place and then it automatically changes everywhere else. And well done for getting to the end. Time for that bonus tip. Now, if you use OBS Studio as your streaming software, you will be aware that you can include sound sources from specific applications. So what I do is that I create a scene with all the sound applications in it, and then I just nest this scene into as a source into any other scenes where I need it. When you do that, your audio mixer can look quite... Um, very packed with different meters. Now, the part of the bonus tip that I would like to suggest to you is 
to put a number in front of each of those sound applications. So what you can do then, the most important ones that you really want to see in your audio mixer, put one point or two point or three point and they will appear as far to the left as they possibly can. Any others that you're not really, or you don't really need to see on a regular basis, then just leave without a number and they'll go far to the right. And that's it, some helpful hints to help you organize your streaming software. I'm going to be producing some more of these longer form videos as well as the shorts that I've been producing in the past. So don't forget to subscribe and press that bell button so you get a notification when a new video goes live. As ever, if you have any questions or any ideas that you would like to suggest for future videos, then let me know in the comments below. Happy streaming everyone. See ya. Bye.